Ridiculous Danger presents Baron. Uh, I, can't, I can't hear it anymore. I can't. Was what was that? No, whatever, uh, whatever it was, it's gone. I, God, I hope that picked up. It, I mean, fuck, it was loud as shit. Maybe I scared it off. Uh, every night, every night since I got here, or, or I don't know before I got here. How long have it been here? Every night, every night, every night for eternity. Every night, every night, every night. Fuck. Fuck, uh, every night from before time. I don't know, every night, every night, every night. God damn it. Callum's bullshit has me rattled. God damn it. Whatever animal that was, I must have spooked it away. Damn it, I need some sleep. Hi, 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 yes. Uh, yeah, okay, look, there's a, there's a wolf, or a coyote, or something on my prop. No, this is different than yesterday. No tracks that I can find. I know you sent someone. Well, it keeps happening, so I keep calling. Fine, fine. Have there been any other reports like mine? Oh, oh, hey, would you mind if I record you? Just, just on the phone, your side of the... I'm doing a radio story. And... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I know. I need permission for... Yeah, I got it. I got... Okay, okay, I'm not recording you. So, have there been any... Nothing out of the ordinary? There's been no, like, surge in animal complaints? Yes, besides mine. Uh, any... Unusual sightings, like, I mean, I know they're pretty much extinct around here, but has, has anyone reported seeing a bear or anything like that? All right. Okay. Uh, thanks. Okay, uh, Natalie, so I'm, I'm walking along the tree line at the back of the property here. Looks like, like some of these trees are a bit blackened from the fire. And there's a strange, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's a metallic smell in the air. Damn. I'm not seeing any tracks out here. If I can find some, Deputy Dumbass will take me more seriously. Sorry. I just... I'm just not sleeping well. Yeah. There's a... Look, there's a little creek just beyond the trees here. Grandpa used to take me down there to catch frogs. Big old bullfrogs. In the summer, there could be so many, it sounded like an orchestra. You ever held one? They're just these slimy blobs. It feels like you're holding a sack of jelly. <laughs> A few times, he let me try to hit them with his Winchester. My aim was never great, and I ended up on my ass more than I care to admit. He used to hunt frogs with my dad, too, when he was my age. I don't, uh... I don't remember much of my mom. When she, um... When, when, when she died, I was six, you know? There's not a, not a whole lot there. I remember she, she smelled like lavender. Oh, and she collected antique teaspoons. <laughs> and, uh, and she was very kind. Funny thing is, my dad was kind too. He wasn't violent, you know. He didn't get drunk and beat her. He didn't, you know, get commands from his dog and torture co-eds in the basement or whatever garden variety psychos do. He just snapped one day. And by that night, I was an orphan. Uh, anyway, it, uh, 
Sure is pretty out here. I won't say I'd forgotten, but I didn't care, you know. Maybe that's maybe that's the same as forgetting. Jesus, the countryside is just breathtaking. The colors of the sunrise run across the sky like a like a watercolor painting. And the morning mist makes the grass glisten like 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 it's like a sea of ice. You should see it sometime, Nat. Maybe I could give you a tour or something if we have any follow-up interviews or something to do. There's such beauty for me to show you. Ah, um, okay. Uh, here's the old barn. Can't believe the fire didn't take this down as well. Probably would have been a good thing. I think spider webs are the only thing keeping this thing standing. I used to play in here as a kid. The outside's pretty mundane, but inside it's cavernous. Or at least it felt cavernous back then. Huh. The side door is boarded up. Hang on. Damn. There's a padlock on the main door, too. There's got to be a key somewhere in the house. Or, uh, I don't know, I guess, I guess I could use the bolt cutters? I think those are in the... I'll be damned. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, so, uh... In the scorched cornfield, where the crop is nothing more than charred husks and ash, and the ground is black with soot. I'm standing over. I'm, I'm looking at new growth. Some sort of vine or weed. Oh, wow. It's everywhere. Little greenish blue sprouts. I, I didn't notice them on the way out here. How is this possible? Maybe it's like, I don't know, like a, like a forest fire, right? Forest fires kick off new growth. But but this is a, this is a cornfield. I guess it could be some sort of weed that got mixed in with the corn seed. But this ground is dead. To have it appear so soon after the fire. Amazing. I'm no botanist, but in all my years helping ten crop, well, this doesn't look like any weed I've ever seen. I'll see if someone in town can identify it. Farmer or florist? Oh, geez. Uh, uh, when I plucked it, all this fluid came running out. Sap or something? Gross. Ah, uh, it's red and sticky. It smells like... Well, okay. Here's the source of that metallic smell. It's really strong. It's... Ah, ah, ah. 
high net. If you're um, if you're if you're wondering why there's a gap in the audio, it's because I I I, I erased a bit, or or I I will have erased a bit. I haven't done it yet, but it'll be gone by the time you get it. I'm sure that's a big journalism no-no, but um, uh, look, I, I was attacked by an animal and. I, I, I just don't want you to have to hear it, okay? I didn't even get a good look at it. It all happened so fast. It was the size of like, like maybe a, a, a bobcat, but it, uh, it, it, it didn't have any fur. I, I know that sounds weird. I mean, all mammals have fur. Even bats have fur. I'm starting to think Dr. Watts was right about the burn tissue. It took a good chunk out of my arm, but I'm okay. I would have saved the remains, but in the struggle, it's sort of, I mean, it, it just, it popped. It sounds weird to say, but I, I punched it and it, it split like a water balloon. And the smell, uh, metallic, like the sap, like, like blood smells, you know, but rotting somehow. So, um... There's clearly a wild animal problem here. Uh, I made some calls. Uh, I talked to Animal Control, which is just a separate number at the sheriff's office in town. I'm becoming quite the regular caller. Yeah, Deputy Greer and I are old pals now. Uh, he said the only reports of wild animals they've received in the past three years were... Ah, here we go. One was a buck that got stuck in Herschel Douglas's tractor shed eight months ago. And two years ago, <laughs> right, uh, two years ago, a camel escaped from First Methodist Living Nativity. I'm sure that was a pretty exciting night in this town. A deer and a camel. Only two reports of wild animals in three years, neither of them predators. Okay. And he said in recent months, there have been no reports of pets with injuries, no livestock hurt, that sort of thing. And those would coincide with, you know, bobcats or wolves or coyotes, even bears. Not only that, get this, there's been no roadkill on the highway, no possums nesting in people's attics, no birds flying into windows and snapping their necks. According to Deputy Greer, okay, aside from my calls, there have been no reports involving wildlife of any kind in the area. He thinks what I encountered was just a standard bobcat. Probably with rabies, he said. He added that just to be a dick. Look, Nat, I'm, I'm trying to do my due diligence here, but this... I mean, I don't mean to sound paranoid, but none of this makes sense. I can't get anyone to go on the record... I mean, we're in deep rural territory here. This part of the country is lousy with wildlife, okay? When I was growing up, coyotes would pick off sheep or chickens, God, like a couple times a month. Pets went missing all of the time. And even if there haven't been any attacks, I simply don't believe no one's hit a deer with their car. Jasper Parks, okay, he runs a filling station down on Maine. He used to keep an annual tally of how many people on their way to Hillsboro or wherever turned their car into an accordion on a stag. What the hell is going on? It's, it's bullshit. Utter bullshit. I mean, I can't be the only one experiencing this stuff. Not unless they're... Jesus. I know what's happening. They're trying to run me out. Those motherfuckers are trying to run me out. They didn't like my grandparents or my parents, and they don't like me. Holy shit. Well, fuck them. Fuck them. What? They're probably... Yeah, they, they must be, what, baiting the property to attract animals? I mean, that would explain the smell. God damn it. If they want to run me out, 
Let them fucking try. Baron is created by David Vienna and is a Ridiculous Danger production. For episode credits and more information, visit baronpodcast.com. Please don't forget to rate and review on your favorite podcast platform. 